Hello and welcome back to this week's video. This week's video is a little bit different. I'm just going to give you a bit of a talking heads update on some stuff that I have been both reading and doing and a few updates for what is to come in the future. There's some exciting new projects that I have been cooking up and it's time to dig right into what has been going on. So recently I picked up a new camera. This camera is a 4x5 and it is a super exciting time for me because I've never shot 4x5 ever before and this thing looks amazing. It looks like it has a lot of potential. It's so modular and really exciting, I guess, learning curve. This feels like one of the oldest and most traditional ways to shoot photography. So with all the movements and all the lenses and all the crazy different options you have with the I guess Bellows 4x5 system, it is a lot to learn and I'm just starting to dive in now and learn as much as I can each day so I can get out and start shooting and make some photos for you guys. I'm going to start with black and white because one, it's cheaper and two, I can actually do contact prints of that on some in within the dark room with the enlarger. That is one of the most exciting updates so far. I also picked up this new beautiful carbon fiber tripod which can currently hold this camera. And it's not ideal because it is a little shaky and not as sturdy as I would like it to be. So I will end up getting a different one, but this definitely adds well to my kit. So I can take my RB67 out and just have a beautiful lightweight tripod to put on a very heavy camera and can hold up to six or seven kilos, which I'm really excited about because I really don't enjoy taking my current Manfrotto around, which weighs two kilos and can only just hold four. So it's just not very uh, efficient for the space and the weight that it takes up. So now I can just take this tripod everywhere. It is so light and really, really sturdy. So I'm excited to use that in the future. I've also just been some developing some black and white film and I'm scanning it as we speak. I'll show you some of those samples of those photos now. This kind of leads me into my next major project where for the next 30 days, I'm exclusively going to shoot black and white film and develop all of it here in the darkroom. I don't have any color chemicals at the moment because of the stock in Australia is really, really low for C41 and my shipment has been pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. And I recently got this email from the place in which I have purchased it and they said that it is coming in September. So fingers crossed that that is the real deal. This is the second time they've emailed me telling me it is delayed and a put a date on it. So we'll see if they pull through. I hope they do. I've ordered four kits of Tentanol 1 liters so that this time I don't ever run out and I can just develop more at home. So yeah, it's all really exciting. And for this week, that's all I can really offer you guys is some of these exciting new changes because so much of my time at the moment is going into learning what I need for the 4x5 and learning all of the new techniques and how I'm going to develop and just a bit more of a research based time rather than a taking photos period because I'd like to get out and use the 4x5 as soon as possible because it's such a big investment that I have made into the system. So I'm pretty keen. Other than that, I'm going to go out and take some more photos on the Sony A7 III. I think that this camera is underused in my kit and I definitely have a place for it in my in my practice. So I'm going to try and take it out and learn how to use it a bit more fluently and get it into my kit as it is such a small form factor and I'd really like to be able to use and create more content with the digital camera. I'm also looking at starting a bit of a audio visual project where I film some things and then create my own soundtrack to said things. And this will be like short films, 30 seconds to a minute only little clips and just see what I can create because there's some things that I've got cooking in my head that I, I really want to make happen. So yeah, that is all the new things that are coming up. I'm pretty excited to show you guys and here's a clip of me trying to get my tripod head off my new 4x5 base and I'll leave you with that. Cheers. <laughs> 